Welcome to the last video in our Langsmith onboarding series. Today, we'll be talking about monitoring and production using Langsmith. In our previous videos, we covered several ways you could add feedback to your production traces, including annotation cues and online evaluators. Today, we'll show you some monitoring tools for getting high-level insights into your application's performance, with telemetry including feedback, as well as latency, token usage, and more. Let's dive in. Let's click over to the monitoring view on the left-hand side. You'll see that we have some pre-built dashboards that we can view, with one of them being configured for our Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot. Let's click into it to see what metrics Langsmith provides out of the box. We can see some useful information. The first thing that you probably noticed is this trace count over time metric, which directly corresponds to our application's usage. We can also see useful stats like latency and error rate, which can help us identify incidents or performance regressions. Below are some stats on LLM calls, which for our Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot maps one-to-one -one with our trace count because we have one LLM call per run of our application. Afterwards, we have cost stats. These can be very useful charts when communicating with stakeholders. It looks like our Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot is very low cost, which is great. And if we want to dive deeper into cost, we can scroll down to get a breakdown of token usage, both on the output side and on the input side. Next, we get some stats on our web search tool and how it's been performing. It looks like there haven't been any errors and latency has been a few seconds. Scrolling further, we can also see a breakdown of run types in our project. This is split between the steps in our chatbot, the search step and the explain step. And finally, we have this powerful feedback section. This tracks the feedback metrics we've configured on our application. We can see the correctness and simplicity evaluators that we've created in previous videos. And using this, we can get a bird's eye view of our application's performance over time. For our Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot, it looks like it's been doing a good job at giving simple answers that are also correct. We can also use custom feedback to track drift in our application's distribution. For example, I created an online evaluator to track how many questions asked to my chatbot were about science. And by viewing this chart, I can see whether or not science is becoming more of a common topic over time. It looks like we've been getting more and more science-related questions over time. So you can see that you get a lot of useful information out of the box using Langsmith, but you can also create your own charts for any custom dashboarding needs. Let's see how. If we click back into monitoring, we can go to the custom dashboards pane and create a new dashboard. Let's give it a name and a description. Next, we can create a new chart here in the top right. You'll see that we can also give this chart a name and a description. You can also select which projects we want to chart. What's really cool here is that we can select multiple projects. So you can track stats across multiple applications or even your entire organization. In our case, let's stick to charting our Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot. We can apply a filter for the traces that we're interested in. As a toy example, let's say we only want traces that scored high in simplicity. Let's create a filter that takes traces with the simplicity feedback. And a score above seven. We can then choose to chart any metric that we want from this list. For example, if we choose run count, we'll be able to see on the right-hand side how many traces met our filter definition, how many traces were simple traces. We can also choose a metric like average latency. And we can see that on average, it takes around five seconds to run a simple trace. We can also make a similar chart for other feedback values. For example, 
let's use correctness to see how correct our simple explanations were. We'll change this metric to be average feedback score and then choose correctness. Make it a bar chart. And it looks like our chatbot's most simple answers also tend to be correct. Finally, we can also split our data into multiple series using the group feature. Some factors we can split by include run type and attached metadata. Let's try run type and we'll clear out our filters to measure latency across different runs. And so we can change this to be latency. And you can see how latency looks across the different types of runs in our application. When we're satisfied, we can create the chart to save it. And now we'll be able to view this chart whenever we want by navigating to our custom dashboard. Today, we covered how you can monitor in production using Langsmith. Thanks for joining me in this video series. I'm excited to see what you'll build using Langsmith.